vizuri tujue kwamba jubilee ni chama iko imara wale ambao kuna wengine nasikia wanapaga mikutano huko Mount Kenya awapate leaders with jubilee akitaka kupaga mpango mkutano um, aina fulani kama ule we will know as uh, members of jubilee ya hale, yale mikutano imepangwa huko waacheni kumhusisha edereni nayo we wish you well but do not carry his name in uh, meetings that he has not uh, sanctioned na tunashukuru nyenye pia kwa sababu tuko imara those guys who been walking around there wanatebea tebea na, ma, na uogo uogo kutukana uhuru na mambo mengine haina maana haina maana na tu, we have we don't want to dwell on those things we have a clear judgment order from the court that recognizes the people you are seeing here brothers others who did not come hata nyinyi watu wa media ambana daganywa na watu mnaitwa media press conference tunakibia let me allow Derito to tell us about the, the state of the nation for the last one year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, Secretary General. Um, two, three months ago, two months ago, Azimio Coalition issued a scorecard assessing what the regime has done uh, for the time that they have been in office, and we were very uh, straightforward with the analysis because it showed that it has been a grand disaster uh, for the period that this regime has been in office. Since then, things have gotten worse. On inflation, you know that by around July, because of the wrong rains then, inflation had subsided a little bit. But in September, October, it has begun to edge upwards. You also know that uh, interest rates have continued with their up, upward trend, mainly because of the behavior of government. Uh, two weeks ago, government was in the market borrowing an infrastructure bond at 18% tax-free. That means they are effectively paying around 22%. So you ask yourselves, if government is paying 22%, to borrow, will the banks lend to small business or are they going to lend to government? That very high interest rate is what has led to an upsurge in non-performing loans. I'm sure you have all seen the um, FKE, Federation of Kenya Employers, statement from a few days ago showing uh, job losses, I think estimated over 70,000. So the state of the economy has continued um, to get worse. Um, on the question that all of you have been asking, uh, is the nation likely to default? I think um, the only saving grace might come if the IMF does in fact approve uh, a rescue package. Uh, otherwise, you all know that we are very close uh, to a circumstance where default can happen. So, Nasema Iviko Kiswahili, Uchumi umeendelea kuzoroteka. Na niseme, ilikuwa pengine niseme ni aibu zaidi kwa sababu wenzetu kutoka upande wa serikali hawakuweza na hawakukubali kusikiza mashauri ya azimio kuhusu jinsi ya kuimarisha uchumi. Kwa hivyo, garama ya maisha imeendelea, imeendelea kuzidi. E, riba yani interested rates ambazo wanabiashara wanao eh uh, bei ya maisha ama gharama ya maisha imeendelea kuzidi uchumi umeendelea kuzoroteka uh, nimalizia hapo kwa kusema ingefaa zaidi kama wenzetu walikubali kusikiza ushauri wa wakenya wengine kuhusu jinsi wangeweza kuimarisha uchumi lakini kwa sababu wamekataa kwa sababu wamekataa Na ni ukweli kwamba zaidi wanakataa kwa sababu yale mambo yanahusu gharama ya maisha utakuta kwamba wakuu wa serikali wanapata hela hapo. Yaani wanajifanya kwamba wanataka kurudisha gharama ya maisha chini kwa hivyo wanajipatia contract ya kulete mafuta vano G2G ngao wengine wakasema kwa mtandao gangster to gangster ukweli ni kwamba haikuwa na faida kwa wakenya wanajipatia ma contract ya kulete 
uh, you know, vyakula edible oils grains ikiwa hiyo yote wakitumia KNTC ni njia ya kujitafutia hela na ndio sababu hawataki kusikiza jinsi thabiti ya kurekebisha uchumi wa wakenya asanteni nataka ni muite mheshimiwa mwenje eh, ambaye deputy whip ili aweze eh, kutuelekeza asante sana